In this video, I'd like to talk about function notation and various word problems where we have to interpret that notation. So for these, let's just go straight into the problem and we'll develop a strategy as we go through these. So Aria walked down a trail into a valley. So maybe she's at the top of a ridge or a mountain and she walks down into a valley. Now V of D models Aria's vertical distance from the top of the valley, and that's in kilometers after walking d kilometers along the trail. And we need to know what does the statement v of three less than three mean? So with most word problems, especially word problems that use different letters, the first thing I wanna do is understand what do those letters represent? So we have this v of d and we have d. So what do each of those mean? Well, v of d, that's Aria's vertical distance from the top of the valley. So you can think as she's going down, the distance, so it's vertical, so just straight up, the distance from where she's at to the top of the valley, that's what this V of D is representing. So V of D, we can say, is the vertical distance from the top of the valley, or I'll just say from the valley. Now, what do we think D represents? So notice that this is after walking D kilometers along the trail. So it looks like D is a distance, and it's the distance along the trail. So we can say that as distance along the trail. Now, one thing that would also help is to notice the units. So V of D, that's in kilometers, they tell us that. And after walking D kilometers, so they're telling us D is in kilometers as well. So the units for both of these are in kilometers. So looking at the question, the first thing we need to understand, what is V of three? So notice V of D is the vertical distance from the valley after walking some amount of kilometers because the D value is the amount of kilometers that they've walked or that she's walked. So notice that the inside, the D value is replaced by three. So they're telling us that D is three here. And when D is three, that just means that she's walked along the trail a distance of three kilometers. So V of three is basically representing the vertical distance after walking three kilometers or the vertical distance, let's say this is three kilometers there, then V of three is whatever this height is, this vertical distance from the top of the valley. And they're saying that V of three is less than three. So that means that the vertical distance after walking these three kilometers is less than three kilometers. So this vertical up and down distance is at most three kilometers, but actually it can't equal three kilometers. So with that in mind, once you've gotten a feeling for what this statement means, then you can go to the questions. So the time it took Aria to walk three kilometers is shorter than the time it took her to be at a vertical distance of three. Well, notice they're talking about the time, but nowhere in our problem did we represent the time with a letter. So that isn't going to be correct since we're really just talking in distance, either vertical distance for our function or distance along the trail for our D value. For B, when Aria's vertical distance from the top of the valley was three kilometers, the distance she had walked al along the trail was less than three kilometers. So this is kind of switching what we had. This is saying that the vertical distance V of D equals three and D the, the distance she had walked along the trail was less than three kilometers, so D would be less than three. But that's not what we have here. We essentially have the opposite of that. D is three and V of three is less than three. So that's not right, but choice C should make sense. When Aria had walked three kilometers along the trail, so that's our D value of three, her vertical distance from the top of the valley was less than three kilometers. So the vertical distance after walking those three kilometers was less than three. So C would be the correct choice here. And in general, these problems can be very tricky, 
But if you follow this strategy of first figuring out what do the letters represent, what does the function represent, and what is the independent variable, d in this case, represent. And like I mentioned, it does help to have the units. Since, for instance, this choice letter A, they start talking about time, but we know that our function and the input to our function d only are concerned with distance, whether it's vertical distance or distance along a trail. And for many of these, it is helpful to draw a picture. So if you can draw a picture of what's happening, it might help with the question, help it make more sense.